The call to 911 is typically the first one people make when panic strikes. Dispatch here in Hughes County say they were ready to respond to that call, although in a community where everybody knows everybody, it wasn't an easy one to answer. It's, it's tough. I'm not going to lie. It's really tough to do. And in some of these instances, I knew some of these people. In the midst of an emergency, you go into survival mode, you know, and you just do what you've got to do to get everything, everybody to where they need to be. The first one to pick up the phone is the dispatcher ready to help. You know, the panic sets in for the public, and so they always call 9 They don't know who else to call, so they call 911. Hughes County Dispatch typically has one person ready to answer, but Saturday night, two of them sat by the phones, and when the tornado warning was issued, our emergency manager called and had me set off the sirens. We did two sets of those. Uh, on the second set is when we lost all power, all phone, radio, everything. So everything was had had to be done through my cell phone. They did everything they could to protect themselves and their community, taking shelter, then rushing to the phones. We did the best we could do with what we had. One dispatcher says calls were sent to Seminole County until they could get things back up and running. And when they did, the phones rang off the hook. I would say probably a hundred. Five times more calls than they typically see. Some of the calls they'll never forget. Because it's sad. There's a lot of sadness and loss. And that is sad, but I think it's just, you know, knowing this line of work and, and what I'm used to, you just kind of have to put it on the back shelf for right now and do your job and then process it later. And everybody processes things differently. You know, I'm sure later I'll probably <laughs> shed a few tears or something, but for right now I'm just trying to do what I have to do and get that taken care of for the citizens. Those first responders here in Hughes County have been working around the clock to help all the residents and the families, including the families of the two victims that died in Saturday night storms. Now they say they'll continue that work until everybody is back on their feet. In Holdenville, Elise Jones, KOCO 5 News.